Hello, I'm Gav. I'm Dan. We're the Slow Mo Guys. I thought it'd be a fun idea to try and recreate something from a film that was originally done in CG and see if we could do it practically. Yeah, I'm a big fan of practical effects yeah. in movies when you can. And I feel like this one that we're going to do is something that could be done in, with practical yeah. effects, right? Superman Returns. I remember two things about this film. Uh, one, he catches a plane. And two, <laughs> he takes a, a bullet to the eyeball. Yeah. And the bullet just goes crunch and bounces off. And uh, I thought, what a fun one to recreate. We're one of the only people, I think, being like, oh, I know that doesn't happen in real life. <laughs> yeah. Not many people. I think some people will watch that and be like, yeah, seems legit. Wouldn't happen on a real Superman. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's look at the setup. So standing in for Brandon Ralph, this bloke. This guy. It's as if you're looking at somebody with Superman's vision. <laughs> like, it's like... This is how way... Brandon Ralph would see himself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> it's a ballistic head, it's got fake bones, and as we discovered in Montana, Johnny's full of goo. John, goo Johnny's. <laughs> in the film, it looks like the bloke pulls out some sort of pistol and just fires a hollow point, so uh, we're going to replicate that. Yeah, that's right, this is a hollow point here, which is used for sort of self-defense. Not designed for use against Superman. Well, very few things are. <laughs> <laughs> so I've kind of painted an eyeball here. Pretty accurate to Superman's eyeball, but it's solid steel. So this soft bullet should have no sort of effect on the actual metal of it and should just splatter because this is so much harder and stronger than this. All right, let's see if we can get the, uh, the eye in the old socket there. This is going to be tricky not to trash this because it's very fragile. Can it slit here? If you've ever played Baldur's Gate 3, this reminds me of the bit where Volo is trying to remove the brain, the brain, the What's it called? The mind maggot thing. From, <laughs> what's it even called? It's a little bit hacky, isn't it? Like Minority Report. <laughs> <laughs> Your storm air doing the eyes. <laughs> <laughs> now he's going to go out and eat a gammy sandwich. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's right. Yeah, yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's disturbing, deeply disturbing. This, this is what it would be like if you had Superman's eye, but not his head. That's exactly it, yeah. yeah. Ooh, what do we think for this? 100,000? Ooh, for the TMX. Spicy. All right, 100,000 frames a second on the 7510. To protect our quite expensive camera, Dan's made a lovely little bulletproof glass shield, haven't you? Yeah, it's sort of nine mil bulletproof to protect it from shrapnel, so it should be fine. Yeah, and we're not putting it direct, it's not actually intended to get hit. We're, uh, we're trying to be smart with our angles. It could get hit though, I think. But it could get hit by uh, little tiny pieces. I tilt this down so I don't shrapnelize the old monitor. Ah, oh, you've learned from your previous well, from mistakes. from shooting it with an arrow. Yeah. <laughs> okay, test one. Superman's eye, human head. Ready? Yep! Oh dear. So it's... That's what happens when the eye is stronger than the skull. It seems that it's just buried the eyeball and split the skull in two. Oh. But it's gone. Is it just in the... Did it pop it out? Is it like flown off somewhere? I've seen something. See if you can spot it. I'm looking at it. Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's, I mean, it was a direct hit on the eyeball because the eyeball is gone, right? It blew off his pupil that you painted yeah. on. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting eyeball placement. Oh. <laughs> Whoa! It just splashes and explodes at the same time. Oh, look at the way the skull cracks so much time after the impact. It's like asserted itself. And now it's like all the energy has to go somewhere. All the pieces have to go and then the skull goes. Whoa, it's really ripped it apart more than I thought it did. God, it just completely splashed the front of the face. So much of the gel goes back to where it was. Oh look, some of the cheekbones just shattered from the eye. It really imparts a lot of energy, doesn't it? Into, the, into what it shoots. Wouldn't be ideal. Wouldn't be ideal. You wouldn't want that. I respect that. That was pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> Even though it was a little bit cornier. Damn it! <laughs> That's really annoying. He's kept a straight face. But <laughs> you'd, you'd call that a straight face? Yeah! <laughs> I mean, he's just been shot in the eye with a bullet, so... So it doesn't seem to be too beneficial to have Superman's eye, but not Superman's whole head and face and that. <laughs> I mean, your eye will be fine. It's just going to be over there. Yeah. 
which is an issue. Yeah. <clears throat> which is actually why we thought that might happen with these eyeballs. So I got ones that have a screw thread in the back. The idea of putting like a bracing bolt behind it. So to keep the eye in place in the skull. Correct. So this is basically Superman's eye yeah. and Superman's eye socket. Yes, Superman's <laughs> eye socket with someone holding the back of his head. <laughs> <laughs> right. And Superman's neck muscles. But yeah, the rest yeah, yeah. of the flesh <laughs> the rest of the flesh and face, very human. Oh, it's really hard to see what because because the like in water. Oh the refraction. The refraction, it makes it look like I'm drilling like that. So it's like really hard. It's like drilling through an optical illusion. Correct. Okay, I think I've hit bone here. Yeah. You're on the back of the eye socket, oh. you're through. Welcome to lobotomies with the slimer guys. <laughs> You've got a bloody odd skill set at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Am I the best person you know at doing this? Uh, of the people I know, yeah. It's going to be a bit cross-eyed. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't thought about that. <laughs> I've come in at a funny angle. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think that's all right. Yeah. That's pretty good. I think I can make it so you can see the eye. Yeah. Maybe do like a front on. Bloody blooper man. Blooper man. <laughs> Clark <Sorry>. Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Weapons clear. Sweet. I've just spied something. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the pattern here. It looks like he's been mauled by a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't it? Look at that. It's like a perfect representation of what happens with the... Uh, the hollow point. The hollow point. Yeah. That's a bit of the uh, the jacket. Yeah, that's a little bit of the jacket. He lost the bridge of the nose. That's sacrificed, that's gone. Wait, what is this? Has he got a bit of nostril shrapnel? Look at it from this side. That's the the bullet, like the jacket. I wonder if, you remember when we did the uh, steel target? Yeah. The squished base would still spin. So I reckon it slammed into the eye. Because of the rifling, it's kept rotating and it's just drilled into it's his just nose. Gone into his wow. nose. Wow. Extraction. Oh. That is satisfying. That's amazing. Look how perfect that is. That's and I love that it just landed inside his nostril. It's more or less. Yeah, I think that's what's happened, you know? Bang on, I think you're right. Whoa. Wow. It, that, it did, it, it did. did. It popped on the eye and then oh. rifled down into the... Oh, it did. Oh, oh it rifled like down into the nose when the nose, the, the nose, the nose completely has just left. come out. The whole front flesh goes. And look at the bridge break as well. I love you get the uh, the shockwave traveling across the frame, like displacing the air, yeah. and the shadow of the shockwave on the eye. Multiple shockwaves, bang! Just like an absolute splash on the eye, and you can see the chicken foot pattern. So Superman's eye socket, way better for the eye, not great for the rest. Though you do end up with a cool scar. It's just a skull. Oh. Look at the look how much it peeled up. And like it's like caused the, the fracture, the pre-fractured skull to rattle yeah. everywhere. I bet the skull, we'll see it on the on the 4K. I bet the scalp piece was just like and then went <laughs> and then went. <laughs> <laughs> it's just torn it up. And like when we came back to it, it looked like it hadn't moved. I'm really it's really cool how the eye just stayed still. Yeah, and, and the rest everything of everything else moved. Yeah. I can see why they did this in CG. <laughs> that shot was a lot nicer than what the reality would have been. That's very true. <laughs> I think if they did it like shattering and then all the bits bouncing off, that'd be awesome. They would have to make like a steel head that was an exact cast of his face to get the actual accurate impact zones of his nose and his eyebrow. Yeah. In the film, it's more like this, isn't it? And then it like moves in. It's just if I put a camera here, it's right in the old shrapnel zone. I don't well, really want to. My high tech shield, I think, would be fine. I reckon you'd be all right. You trust this with this? Yeah. You think we should do that? We could do that. This is your test head that is uh, entirely blue. Yeah. I drilled an eye hole, as you can see, and I th thought I'd drill it through the back to sort of support it. You went straight into the Johnny zone. Might have uh, tapped the Johnny a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled that. I pulled the drill out, and there was just Johnny wrapped up in it. Oh! <laughs> it's just like <laughs> TMX is now at two hundred thousand frames a second. Oh, 
it's just wow. so satisfying, isn't it? It's pretty solid. It is really satisfying. Look at the, the back of the bullet directly on the iris there. Just pink. Just splat right against it. And then it gets that little bit of curvature from the, from the sphere of the eye. Yeah. That is deeply disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how thick is this? Why is this so thick? Bit nervous about this one. I think we'll be fine. Yeah. I reckon we'll be absolutely fine. Well, I'm glad you said that on camera. I'll use that in the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, no chips and scratches, just... Excellent. Gap. Is there bits in there? Yeah, lovely bit of jacket. Yeah. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was, I feel like a sound that needed to be censored. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, God. It just goes everywhere except the eye. <laughs> It just, follows the shape of the eye and it doesn't care what it's going through on that plastic or gel. It's crazy, like, the steel is just so bulletproof. Yeah. It's just so bulletproof for that sort of bullet. It's, it's like three different mediums there. It's like the rock solid steel, the, the hard but much, much softer bullet. Yeah, the copper and the, the lead just split and go everywhere. And then the absolutely soft gel. And, and the skull and as well. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now we, we want to just get a clean eyeball shot. We're just shooting an eye in the in the corner. <laughs> okay, just waiting on some sun. How's that looking? Yeah. Go. All right, a nice clean eye to finish off. I love the shockwave shadows. I love it too. Oh, wow. The That's different, cool. The different colours too, like the, the lead versus the copper. Swing! Did it, was there a little sparkle there just as it hit? Oh, yeah, there you go. So that might be a little air gap between the, the hollow pointage that's just flashing immediately. Yeah, yeah. It really follows the, the eye angle, doesn't it? Yeah. So that is what would happen to Superman's eye. Yeah, I'm pretty confident in it. Unless you had a kryptonite bullet. <laughs> Bit of a bloodbath, that one. A blue bloodbath. A blue bloodbath. I enjoyed <laughs> the footage, though. Yeah. It was really interesting, just seeing, seeing the shape of the hollow point before and just seeing that magnified in the ballistic gel with these amazing scars. I think we've learned that you've either got to be full Superman or none at all. You can't, yeah, you can't have just part Superman. It's no, no good. It doesn't do you any favours. No. Maybe if you had, like, his knee or something, it might be all right. <laughs> but what, what is knee? Because if, if you think you could like kick a ball really fast, but pow! It wouldn't. Your muscles wouldn't be more powerful. You, you don't. You don't not kick a ball hard because your knee would snap the other way. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. You have to be all Superman. You can't just be a part of Superman. Fine. Let us, let us know if there's one piece of Superman that you would pick. Let your neck. Your neck would be good. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you'd never get like whiplash, you'd be in a car accident, it'd be like, bang! Oh well. Yeah, but your brain would still shoot forward in your skull, wouldn't it? Yeah, but like it wouldn't be, you know, you wouldn't be like, oh. I don't know. No? I'm not convinced on that one. The headbutts would be pretty good too. They'd be solid. They'd be solid. <laughs> your, your own skull would smash. Um, um, how hard <laughs> <you can. laughs> Americans aren't super familiar with headbutts, but they're a really European thing, I think. I feel like an American fight starts with you know, just a swing, a right hook. Yeah, yeah. An English pub fight starts typically, in my experience, yeah. with gobbing in their eyes and following up with immediately <laughs> with a headbutt, just like a. Duh. But there's no there's no pullback, otherwise you're, it's too too much warning. It has to just be immediately like. Wah. Yeah. With Superman's neck, you'd be able to just. Bah. Sure. Superman's <laughs> neck. <laughs> I do like that in when you when I watch a film, you know a bit more about it than I do. But when you watch a film, you kind of know how they do things, like practical to effects an extent, yeah. and like how they filmed it and shot it. You have more of an idea than I do. I like that they did something in CG and we've created it again, but practically in a quarry with just us two. Yeah, I mean, you would still need CG to put the actor behind that. 
Yeah. You would have to composite all that. But it's the practical effect yeah. that we've done. We, do, we did the very hard work of uh, standing around for 18 years waiting for cooler cameras to get invented. Don't poo-poo us. <laughs> so, like, I think it's pretty cool. I, it was cool. I liked it. Yeah. Hopefully you did too. Make sure you subscribe if you like slow-mo and watch another one of our videos if you would like. We do quite a lot out here with bullets. Favourite bullet one? There's quite a few good ones I like, for different reasons. I don't know. I like the Newton's Cradle. Ting! Never! <laughs> I was most proud of that shot, because yeah. I was far away. Yeah. It was pretty good. Were well, you extra proud because I cut out, like, seven of the misses? What? No! There wasn't seven misses. There wasn't seven. There wasn't seven. There was, like, two. Two? Yeah. There was, like, four. Because you kept going under it. Three. <laughs> Three. <Yeah. laughs>